Welcome back to another episode of Manifest Monday. And today we're going to be talking about the misconceptions. I don't think a lot of people really understand what manifesting truly means. Now, in today's culture, it typically comes from the law of attraction, which a lot of people like to use and a lot of people like to use as their base, but it's lacking context. Concept number one is revelation of desires. Manifestation in both contexts mean actually to make something known or bring something into reality. Now, with power of belief, that's which is the second concept. I think everybody has that generally mastered or understood because who doesn't know what they want? Everybody has desires, faith, strong, positive beliefs towards whatever their desires may be. Now, number three is the most important one. Yes, visualize it. Law of attraction says to visualize it. But you have to understand that you have to put words behind it. You have to pray behind it. It's one thing to just be like, I can see my future. I know what I want. But what are you saying? What are you audibly speaking into existence of your life? Now, last but not least, is putting works behind it. It's one thing to, oh, I manifest this and I want this and I desire this and I pray for this. But if you're not doing the work for it or if you're not taking the time to understand what you need and what you want and what it requires of you to require these things, then you will forever be at a loss. You will forever be frustrated. Take it from somebody who used to pray every single day, all the time, doing all of the prayer, but none of the actual groundwork. But look at me now with all the work that I had to study to get that thing up there. <laughs> So I say all this to say, put some works behind what you want. Jesus King and faith without works is dead. I love you guys. Have a blessed Monday.